in case you have an ordinal data or categorical data, what you need to do is go to analyze Bayesian estimation. It will open like this. Okay. And it will, if it is not working, you have to click on this range kind of uh, this, this uh, thing and it will start working. And you need, you should look for this smiley to turn from red to green. So it is called as the convergence statistic and it should go below 1.01 .01 or 1.02. It should go below 1.01. .01. Okay. So you should, so it is basically sampling to actually estimate the Bayesian, uh, based on Bayesian analysis, the, the, the weights of these parts. And we will continue, we will let it run till it goes one below 1.00, I think one or 002, something like that. And it will change to yellow. Okay. And we'll, so we'll stop this analysis once the convergence has been reached. So this would be the path that we should report which would be the Bayesian estimation of the categorical, when you have categorical data in your, uh, in your model. And actually it is, it is not very different from the maximum likelihood estimates uh, that we have got earlier. So, So it is decreasing, it is coming close to 1.002 now. Yes, right, so it is, yes. So you see this smiley turning from red to yellow. Now it is consistently yellow. It is not turned into red. Okay. So now we are seeing that this is now this, these estimates are not going to change very much. Also, you can see these estimates are not changing too much. Okay. So we can now stop this analysis. And these final result are the coefficients of the paths that you should report with categorical data. So if you have zero, one or multiple category data, this is the path. So leadership to creative behavior, this is the coefficient 0.182, leadership to procedural justice 0.56, procedural justice to creative behavior 0.101. Okay, so if I were to just copy this, you can you can copy this. You can even, uh, I yeah, you can. If there is a way to, yeah, copy. Okay, so this is now copied, and you can paste it also. Okay, so this is the data that has been copied. Okay, and we are interested in these three parts. Okay, these were the parts that we were interested in. This is based on the Bayesian, which models or which takes account, takes into account the categorical data. 
Now, if I were to close this and I go to my original data and I run it using maximum likelihood and I look at the estimates of the path, okay? Now, this is the path. These are the paths that I have got. Where is, this is, yeah, these are the three paths. Let me just copy this and bring this to Excel. Okay, so if you look at procedural justice to leadership, okay, procedural leadership, sorry, leadership to procedural justice, this is the coefficient, then procedural justice to creative behavior, this is the coefficient, and procedure leadership, yeah, this we have done, lead to, So now this is the Bayesian result on the yellow and the white one is the maximum likelihood. So if you look at 0.182 and 0.184, 0.56 and 0.554 and 0.101 and 0.1. So you see the maximum likelihood result with categorical data and Bayesian result with categorical data are actually not very different. So even if you were to work with just the maximum likelihood estimation with your model, that should work even with the categorical data. Or if you want to be a little more sophisticated, you want to show that you know Bayesian, how do you analyze categorical data using the Bayesian analysis? You can report these results. These are the standardized, these are the standard errors. Okay, but the coefficients are actually not very, very different. These are the standard errors, right? Standard deviations. Okay, so, but the coefficient is, is this, which you should report, okay? And they are not different between maximum likelihood and the Bayesian data. So you can read further on this using the Bayesian estimation Okay, the AMOS approach to analysis of categorical.